Last time on Babs Bear Talk. Joe's abandoning me, guys. So it's late already because time changed. But Joe and I are getting ready to go down to LA. We never did make our LA trip yesterday. So I jumped up at what time, Joe? Like 7.30? Was it 7.30 when I hopped out of bed? Which was really 6.30. And I'm making some Creole buns. Usually I get five loaves out of this recipe, but I wanted to get like seven because I have a lot of people I want to take buns for today. It's 9.46 and I'm still waiting to bake these, but the oven's ready. And I have them sitting on top so they can feel the heat, right? Look, I made my baguette and I made Subway sandwiches for me and Joe. We're not going to starve today on this trip, guys. No starvation today. So, I don't like to take me around. Like so, what, what did you eat out of the front yard now that piece, have you pooping? A piece of, um, what's the stuff here? Aloe vera? Aloe vera. I, just, <laughs> I was out there working in the car. I just popped a piece off and just you keep it. Yesterday? Yes. And you just ate it like that? But that thing is bitter. Oh, that's nice. So it's now cleansing you? Mm -hmm. We have to do our week's worth of cleanse. Mm -hmm. You keep backing up because you keep getting too close. We have to do our week's worth of cleanse with the aloe vera and the orange juice and show how to make that shake. I'm going to kill you. Huh? I'm going to kill you. No, because you get less, you don't get the strong thing like that. But uh, we're gonna cleanse, all right? And we gotta show how to mix that. Okay. We still need to rack up like one more point for it to pass smog. I know that it's not all the states that do smog, but California does, so. I've got fruits, I've got sandwiches, I've got everything. Not gonna be hungry today like I told you guys. So yesterday while Joe was out there fixing, what were you doing fixing? The brakes on the car? No, I did. Oh, he was trying to get a little dent out. He just reached over into the front yard and pulled a little piece of aloe vera and ate it. And then he wanted to know why he can't stop crapping. And I was like, you had it full strength, fool. I'm like, don't be eating random stuff out this front yard again, Joe. Don't be eating this stuff. <laughs> it's not random. He knew that it was aloe vera and he knows that it makes you go to the bathroom. But I guess, you know, because he just got the straight up gel part and stuff, right? That thing is gross. When I don't know how he ate that. Itching, I said, I His throat was itching again, people. I'm telling you, this man is typhoid. I'm telling you, he's typhoid, Joe. Y'all don't believe. Mama used to call him that. Y'all don't believe. He'll get a little itchy throat. Then all the rest of us fall dead, and then nobody, uh, nothing happens to Joe. Well, what do you got for say? Nothing. So we're testing the car out again, and um, going down to my sister to pick up my badges. Wish I, I wish I could have seen Ermine today so I could give her one of these. She would die to taste this because this is good. I, I, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I think my cruel bun is real good. A lot of people say it's so light in color why is it so light i don't do it with brown sugar and that's why and i don't put a lot of sugar so if you're diabetic you could have a little slice down again and be okay and so a lot of people are like ah this is not sweet enough i'm like why you want it sweet like cake i don't understand you don't have to have cake you want to have some bun <laughs> we are figuring that there is some type of accident that we don't know about because it's been this way since we trans well we didn't transition but we went by the 57 right Huh? It's 30 minutes to Pasadena. What the hell? Oh my god. It has to be an accident, right, Joe? It's never like this on a Sunday. Well, we'll keep our eyes open. I got a ginger candy from my dad. Down the hill, down the hill. Wee! What's up? Because they have more in there. Almost um, in Rancho, right? Rancho Cucamonga. Marie, remember that funny name place over here by us? Cucamonga. C U C U M O N G A. Don't know where the name came from, but it's weird. So I'm texting Ermine because she's gonna stay at the hospital till 4, and right now it is 3:29. So I would meet her over there in the parking lot. I wouldn't go up today because I'm tired. But meet her in the parking lot and give her one of these breads. Let's see if she'll respond. We're leaving 
the hospital guys it was a wonderful visit it was really um it was really odd because when i walked in i recognized one of the um ladies that was there along with ermine because she had been there before and then another guy was sitting there and he acted like he knew me you know he acted like he knew me and he's like oh my god and i thought maybe it was a belizean person that knew joe i thought he knew you at first right joe he i think it was joe at first and he goes you and i'm like me and he goes bear pantry i'm like oh okay <laughs> because all the new people from every nation i'm always thinking it's somebody that knows us from belize or something right <clears throat> so i took a picture with him i'm heading home now guys but it's hot today it's hot you guys see them nice looking grilled bread Brian put on Facebook? Yeah. They bread? look like I made it. Oh, uh -huh. don't get me. <laughs> I know the rules. Uh, Navy and Brian made the bread. Mm -hmm. I made seven of those um, grilled bun loaves. Give us one. I left one and I gave away six. One? One. one. We can always Sorry, make more. Good we can make more. What well, you eating, Daddy? I'm gonna go eat some of my soup. Do you have any more chicken left? That's the last of the chicken? No, I don't have to have it if that's the last of it. I'll just eat my vegetarian chili with um with a piece of the um, veggie burger as the meat. I say it's for me, but Joe's the one that made it filthy. Daddy! Joe! Daddy! Why you mess up my stove? Why are you mess up her stove? <laughs> got nothing to say. Cat got your tongue, did it? Sound like a Ouija. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching the um, church service right now on the internet, and um, they're at the spot where they're asking for the offering. I think that's the part that Joe hates the most. He loves to give. But he hates when the church collects the offering because they belabor the point, you know? So I'm glad that I was able to go see my dad and my sister today. Yes, it did suck that we were stuck in 30 minutes worth of traffic. And I don't even know why. They may have had an accident that cleared up before we got to it, but I still don't know why. I got the badges. This is mine. It says, the secret ingredient is always love. And there's a spoon with a heart in it. And on the bottom is a needle case. In Belize this is called a needle case all right over here in america it's called a dragonfly and certain parts of america it's called a needle darner so um ermine's badge had an elephant on it writing on the chalkboard saying teachers rock because ermine's a teacher and a purple heart on the bottom because she loves the color purple she loved it you know i ordered that for my sister to give to her and she absolutely loved it she's such a you know wonderful receiver i love giving to her because she she knows how to receive so I made all those buns this morning. I got seven of them. And I'll be honest with you guys. Can we talk? A little bit of cheese, man. Joe wanted to go see his mom today and called her after we left my dad's house. And we were going to head down there. And I took enough uh, buns with me that I could share with any, you know, any household that we arrived at. But shortly after that, a family member called from the house to say that somebody would be there that that person knew that I didn't want to see. And so I'm going to be real vague about it. So I'm like, okay, Joe, turn back. And so we turned back and we went to the hospital. Ermi told us to come up because there were many people up there that she thought we would want to meet. It was such a lovely visit to meet those people, to meet that guy that watches the show. So when we were leaving, Joe went to the car and he took out my little bag and he goes, you guys want bread? I just gave away my bread. So everybody got a blessing today that was unexpected. But we're going to have to go back another day and then I'll make another batch and take for Joe's mom and his aunt. But I, I couldn't deal with seeing this person today. This I haven't seen these people since 2010. And I'm... Uh, no. I, I just... Uh, no hatred. You know, I don't hate anybody. No hatred. And I even pray for these people. And I... I uh, nah. God said you can love people from a distance. I truly believe that. So... Anyways, I was able to go into Ron's room and pray for Ron today. I want you guys to pray for Jessica, which is Ron's granddaughter. That's Joshua's age. She's like one day older than Josh. She has a sister that's like a year younger than she is, but the sister lives like halfway to Vegas. And Jessica's dealing with all these decisions over her grandpa all by herself. Je Jessica's mom was murdered in 1997, Ron and Louise's only daughter. And so they don't have a mom. Their dad died like maybe four years ago from some kind of heart failure or something. 
And so all they have is Ron and Louise. And Louise died last year, as you guys know, March 24th. You know, Ron's in the hospital not doing well. And I think the only people uh, Jessica can rely on is the aunt from the mom's side, from Louise's side, the one that came and did Louise's funeral. And so it, it's hard for her. I pray for her because at 27, I don't know if I could have handled all of that, you know? So um, Jada has a little friend that wants to buy this sporty car. And the only way we can do it is if he brings all the money and we go buy the car for him and then we just like make a small finder's fee or something because it's a really expensive car. And um, I don't know if it's going to work out, but honestly, if we get that car for that little boy, I'm going to bless that ca car with anointed oil or something because I really feel that the car is going to be too fast for that little kid. He's only 22, so I'm kind of nervous about this deal. So the car is ready. Joe's going to go try to get it smog tomorrow. I think we've racked up enough driving on it. And um, it's a beautiful car for anybody who, you know, wants a car that's going to last a long time. It's an 07. This is like the newest car we ever got. I think we got it on a fluke too because Joe said the car went through once in the lineup at the auction and then the bid came in too low and they put it through again and then Joe just bid like $50 more than the last bid and he got the car. I was like, oh my goodness. So... But um, I'm really excited for this one. It's a beautiful car. And I'm excited for when we start like putting aside savings again. You know, because you guys know we're still building out of the mess from the shop. But once we start putting aside savings, then we can all start upgrading the cars that we drive here at the house. I think the person with the nicest car here is Jory. And then Jada has, you know, her vehicle is very beautiful inside. But it has like a bent door on the outside that we never changed when we bought it. And then my vehicle is nice too, but I hate it right now being that the AC doesn't work. And then Joshua has like the crappiest car here. So he's the first one that's going to um, upgrade, like Beyonce say, upgrade, upgrade. <laughs> yeah, so um, it was really, really a blessed day. I didn't have any pain in my gall area. Like I said, if I can drink water and keep my bowels flowing good, then the pain doesn't step in. So I made sure I found some way to drink water on the trip and on the, on, and on the trip back. We ate our sandwich on the trip back. Sorry guys, my battery died on the other camera just now. It's probably just as well because I have a lot of stuff to go clean up in the kitchen. Um, I wanted to show Diana this camera. Diana! This is the Canon Elf, Canon PowerShot Elf 340HS. It's like $150 at Amazon, brand new. It tapes in 1080p. This is what I vlog with. It can literally fit in your back pocket. The sound is good. The picture quality is good, especially in daylight. It's not so good in dark, but it's okay because I don't vlog too much at night. And when I'm vlogging at night, I'm not using this. I'm using one of the Nikons. It comes with one little battery, but I bought two more. So I have three because I vlog. And if you're going on vacation and you're going to need this, you're going to need a couple more batteries because it only can go for like 20 minutes on the battery so I have three two white ones and a black one comes with this little charger thingy that you open up this part and plug into the wall at the house right and it also comes with this part a little hole where you can plug another wire that comes with it into the cigarette lighter so you can be charging your battery in the car as you go and that's what I do that's how I have so much battery power to last a long time when I am vlogging you know my other camera they have something that you could plug in plug into the cigarette lighter too but the battery has to be charged inside the camera so you can't use the camera while the battery is charging this one you just pop them out charge them as you're going and then that way you always have a battery charged you know as you're traveling now I have my um, Android phone that I don't use as a phone anymore but I also keep this charging with me that way if I run out of battery I run out of space on the memory on this I just grab this to catch the little things in between so I don't miss things for you guys all right so I think I've brought you up to date fully oh back to that movie that I went to go see last night I'm still mad over that movie I stay mad over these movies um, I understand it a little bit more now and I still don't like it you know it just felt kind of zombie-ish to me Jada said the reason why she thought I would like it. Jada didn't even understand the movie. It's when I started to question her about certain parts. She kept giving me wrong answers. And that's when Jory and Joshua stepped in and said, No, this is what was happening, Jada. Blah, 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 blah. So Jada was like, I thought they were just hypnotized. I didn't know all of them had, you know, brain surgery to take out parts of their brain or whatever. But that's why it felt zombie-ish to me, okay? So um, Jada said the friend to the guy that was starring in the movie 
um, reminded her of me because I'm always giving people dire warning about don't go there, the killer's there, don't go there, you're gonna get kidnapped, you know, you know, don't go into some random little town, you know, stuff like that. So she thought I would like it because of that character. And um, I could see why she would think that, but I didn't like that movie on a whole. My sister went to go see Kong, and I think she liked it, but she said she missed the beginning, so she didn't know what happened at the start. So she wants us to tell her what happened at the start. I'm like, I doubt seriously that I'm going to go see that movie because I didn't even go see King Kong. Okay, so let alone this one. So um, there was only one movie that I went to go see with Joe that I didn't think I was going to like it, Cowboys and Aliens, and I absolutely loved it. But most of the time, Joe lets me pick the movies because if they suck and I start complaining and whining, he is scot-free. Like, oh, I picked this one because the kids told me. He's not getting none of the blame. He said, I sucked it up and I went to go watch it with you. So that's on you. So the kids are getting it. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Anyways, I really do have to go clean up a lot in the kitchen because I didn't wash the bowl when I made the buns earlier. I didn't clean the, the trays and the kids will not do any of that. They'll do everything else except that. So I'm going to go do that now. I'm going to come back and finish editing this one for you guys and then edit the one that has to go up at the cooking channel. Almost done with that. I just have to do voiceovers. And um, yeah, then I'll be brought up to speed. So... Um, Thanks as usual for watching. Thank you so much for the time that you put in to watch my vlogs. And um, I really and truly appreciate all of you, you know, just sticking with me, supporting me, praying for me, because you guys I knew you guys know that I do the same for you. I really do. I really do. When I start praying, I call out your name. See this little prayer book right here? A friend of mine made this book. I don't know if she has any more of them for sale. It's called the Spirit Boot Boot Camp warfare prayer before starting your day say it aloud and it's see one two three four pages all right and i say this aloud each day to start my day and when i'm saying it i call out your names and it starts like this heavenly father i bow in worship and praise before you I cover myself with the blood of Jesus Christ and claim the protection of His blood for my family, my finances, my home, my spirit, soul, mind, and body. And that's where I stop and I call out your name. Okay, and I'm like, I pray this over and I call each and every one of your names. Oh, by the way, Miss Aldonia, shout out to you and shout out to your daughter, Lori. Oh my God, I have to call you back. I lost connection with you when I walked through the security at the hospital. I just remember that. Oh my goodness, my brain. It's late. I wonder if you're still up. It's 8.30. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, I don't want to read the whole prayer for you guys because it's kind of long. And my friend does sell these. Um, it says spiritbootcamp.com. Spiritbootcamp.com. She might have some more for sale. But I don't have any more to give away because I bought a lot from her before and I gave away to a lot of friends. But I do call it your names every single day. And I'm praying for Julie that she's out of the ICU and home in her own bed recovering. Okay? So I'll see you guys tomorrow, same bat time, same bat place, and um, yeah, thanks for all the love, guys. You want the red button is on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, see, I'm doing it. Ready? He doesn't want to go back on the boat. Splash. Splash? Yeah.